views expressed on this program are those of the hosts, guests, and callers, and are not necessarily those of the station, its management, or other advertisers. You're listening to Transformation Talk Radio. Hi, welcome. This is Dr. John Demartini. This is one of the most amazing and inspiring shows that you can listen into. If you want to be on the edge of your seats, if you want to open up your heart, if you want to expand your mind, and you want to meet incredible people, stay tuned because you're just about to experience a transformative radio show that will change your life. And you're listening to the Dr. Pat Show that's coming up right next. The following audio is via a Skype call. Welcome to the Dr. Pat Show. Talk radio to thrive by. Powerful, inspiring, and coming to you live, bringing you stories of people like you and me, busting through and living life full out. Get ready to dare to wonder what your life would be like if you knew you could not fail. Wow, everybody. Welcome, welcome. It's so great to have all of you tuning us in and turning us on. we got a great show for you today. We're just having the best time. I'm Dr. Pat, and many of you know that, but some of you may not. Um, you can hear me pretty much uh, throughout the week on Transformation Talk Radio, and I know, like many of you, listen on in other places. For those of you that are listening on the Travel Network in Australia, I want to just give you a big hello, big shout out right here today. So thank you all. We got a great show lined up for you. Um, you know, but first, let's just say uh, hello to Mr. Benny. Hi, Mr. B. Hey, Pat. Doing very well. Australia, huh? Yeah. Uh, my mom just actually just got back from there a few days ago. In fact, I think oh. she spent an entire, I think it's an entire day of flying. Exactly. It is, 24 hours exactly. of flying. Right. Wonderful time, it I'm is. sure. It, it is, but I understand. Now, wait a minute. I could be wrong, but I understand the flying thing, though, is they get you kind of comfortable. It's not like when I go from here to Jersey. Not one of those. Or or is it? I don't know. Well, I, I'm sure the flight is obviously up there longer, and they have uh, the amenities that will last a little for, for longer distances, so to speak. Yeah. Um, yeah, but, I mean, I couldn't imagine being – I mean, uh, it's just a time change anyways with – they're ahead, so yeah, you yeah, got to yeah, count that. Yeah. I mean, that's it's a wonderful trip I'm sure to be have anyways, so. Yeah, I'm glad. You know, here's the thing. You know, if I'm flying for that long, I don't even want to know I'm flying. You know, I, I, I want the amenities. What did you say, the amenities? Yeah, but I, I think that's those... how they approach it, too, as far as they give Is you almost. It? Yeah, I'm sure. I'm, I, think, I think you can take showers and stuff on the planes, too. Well, now that is an interesting conversation. I'm serious. You never heard that? You never seen that? I didn't. You know, I don't get out much, Benny. I'm just saying. That I don't think that really means that you can't look it up on the internet because everything oh on the internet is true. Oh my gosh, are you kidding? They're <laughs> already they're already telling me you got to stop doing the Facebook. What? They're like stop, okay? Because <laughs> I just started to do some Facebook things on my Papasilli page, right? Right. And they're like, no, stop now. You you really do need to stop. You kind of the listeners are like, why are you doing that? Why are you? And I'm like, Facebook. you know what? I'm liking the Facebook little thing here for a yeah. minute. You know, give me a break. It's taken me third. I don't know how many years to actually even attempt to do it. So why don't we have just a little bit of fun with that? Uh, yeah, that's what I, I'm like. Yeah, I'm going to have a little bit of fun. Let's have fun with that. Go for it. <laughs> I'm dirty. How many apologies will I have to make this week? Well, stay tuned. We'll find out. Oh, my God gosh. Yeah. I wonder if there are apologies that we make as a result of social media, but what are the apologies we make in our life? we got a great show, Benny. We're going to be talking with Nancy here in a minute about Wake Up. The universe is speaking to you. Uh, Nancy, you're out, is somebody that's joining us here today. Learn to use universal energy to change your life. Why? Well, how about because it's available? How about because it's always been available? How about because the energy, that universal energy, has been talked about for thousands and thousands of years, and even before that, before we can actually record the way it's been talked about. But what is it about us that pops up here in our pop culture, pops up in our pop culture, Benny, right there? 
where we're just like thinking, nah, I'm not going to talk about that. I'm not going to think about that. You know, I'm not going to tap into that exponentially divine energy of the universe to manifest the life I want. I'm not going to talk to it because why? Uh, maybe because I think I got some stuff going on that says to me, wow, if I actually talk, if I actually wake up to it, I may be disappointed, but that's not the show for us today because that's why we have Nancy here, here. You know, Nancy is somebody, for those of you out there that wonder what my show is about, I get to talk to people that are helping the rest of us have the lives we truly desire. But this thing about energy and energy fields, we've been talking about for at least uh, 10 plus years. Why? Because other people are talking about it. But what is this universal energy? And what is it that we have to become if we're not already? What do we have to become? Now, Nancy is somebody, she has an energy work, author, spiritual life coach, motivational speaker. But here's the thing. She has faith, faith in the Lord and her intuitive abilities. You do not hear those two things said in the same sentence very often. We just don't. But why is it we want to separate our spiritual uh, beliefs from that divine universe of energy? That's not for me to talk about, but it is for her to talk about. This is something that is so cool. We're going to have such a great time. Nancy, it's great to have you on the show. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Oh, thank you. Nice to be here, Dr. Pat. And you hit it right on the head. People, <laughs> you know, don't want to talk about themselves and how to use the energy. And that's why I'm here. And that's why I wrote this book, so I can help people. Well, you know, I want to talk to you about a couple of things because I love the book. Okay. I read the book. I oh, love, thank you. Awesome. I love I know I love that you put scripture in here. I was reading two books today. I was reading your book, and okay. I was also reading uh, a book that goes way back, uh, one of the classic works uh, by Neville. And okay. I was really struck by, well, wait a minute, I got these two books here, and I'm looking at your book, and I'm looking at this book, and I'm thinking, wow, what do these two have in common? They are talking about one of the most significant bodies of work ever done. They're talking about things that have been passed on through for it's centuries through the Bible. I okay. open your book and I'm looking at Daniel. I open it. So let's talk about this. Why are we so absolutely uh, having to think, Nancy? that we got to pick, if we pick that level of spirituality and we decide to talk about scripture, why is it that in the world, we don't really want our people that talk about scripture to talk about intuition? Yeah, and it all is intertwined once I started yeah. to live this yeah. and, and yep. work with the energy. You know, once you start to work with the energy, you think, well, how is this stuff working? And the more you work with it, then you realize, well, in order to make it work, you have to have faith. Mm -hmm. And where does faith come from? You know, faith comes from up above. You can call it God. You can call it mm -hmm. spirit. You can call it our creator, whatever you want to call it. And once I started to delve into all these things, I wanted to tell people how I became successful using the energy and how I used it in my business and in my personal life. And the, when I started to actually write the book, the scriptures talk about these things. But people don't, think, you're exactly right, you don't put it together. I mean, it talks about the spoken word in the Bible and the vibration of our spoken word and what we say and what we think and what a difference that makes and how that energy goes out into the universe. And then you can refer to it, just like you said, you go to Matthew, for example, 1236, and it says, I tell you, on the day of judgment, people will give account for every careless word they speak. For by mm -hmm. your words, you will be justified, and by your words, you will be condemned. And it's so mm -hmm. true. People don't realize what they're doing when they speak and when they think that they're putting that energy out to the universe. And whatever you put out is what comes back. Exactly. And, you know, it's fascinating, uh, you know, side by side looking at these books. And, you know, I'm thinking to myself, well, wait a minute. You know, this is really the time now 
where we get to explore it all, isn't it? You know, this is the time where we get to ask ourselves, are we going to look at the energy of the universe as that being for a small um, selection of people? Or as you see in your book, are we going to wake up and know and believe that the universe is speaking to us? Can you well, can sure. you just talk for a minute about why we don't believe this? What what do you think is happening? I know you've talked to people all over the world. What do you think is happening that we we just can't wrap our minds that the universe is out there for us too? Well, I think people have gotten away from um, a lot of the spirituality, and they've gotten away from the Bible, and they've tried to reinvent and make things different. But mm-hmm. what I see is it's really back to basics. Um, you know. I believe the universe was created with this energy to help us, and we just haven't figured, we just haven't woken up and realized how to use it. Um, it's very simple. Again, I talk about the vibrations. You know, if you're if you're in a good mood and um, you go out into the world and everybody else is in a bad mood, maybe your good mood will make them into positive vibrations, or they will be in a better mood, meaning that the more good vibrations you put out, the more good vibrations that come back. And so I think that people are out there. You go shopping, you go out into the world, and you see people with these grumpy looks on their faces, and we've got to change it up. We've got to turn it around because what really is important is the spiritual side of us, not the material side of us, the spiritual side of us. And I Mm. see this so often where people are like, working so hard to achieve money and to achieve the new car and to achieve the new house. But in the end, when you're only here for a short period of time, what's going to happen when you get up to the pearly gates? Is the creator going to say, hey, what did you accumulate down there? Or is Mm. he going to say, hey, what did you do to help somebody else? Did you put some good energy out there? You know, did you did you do things for other people? And I think we've all gotten away from that. We've gotten mm. into a me, me, me society. And we've got to give back because the energy of giving only rewards us when we give. The energy of love only gives us love back when we give it. Whatever you put out to the universe is what you get back. And we've totally gotten away from that. That's what I see. And, you know, can we talk about this for a minute? And you talk about it so beautifully in your book. Um, We have this notion, and let's you and I chit-chat when we come back from break about this. We have this notion that we picked up somewhere along the way that we are really not supposed to ask big, that we are not Uh supposed to ask big, right? And so what do I even mean by that? Well, you know, if you turn on the preacher that you got in a car or you you turn on your favorite spiritual podcast or whatever that is that you believe in and you turn on it and you hear that person say to you, ask big and you will receive. And yet even with the many voices that say that, even with Nancy talking about wake up, the universe is speaking to you, continue to ask small or not ask at all and not asking at all is not opting out it is actually opting in and we're going to talk about that when we come back we'll be right back with the show Transformation Talk Radio is dedicated to the education and awareness of Lyme disease. Hey, everybody. Welcome back to Lyme Talk Radio. I'm Dr. Pat, joined here by Dr. Nusheen Darvish. Dr. Pat Basili and Dr. Nusheen Darvish will be bringing the most innovative, groundbreaking information, research, treatment innovations, and stories from those it affects every day. I'm so excited to be talking about this. We have so much to share. Dr. Darvish and I are planning to do is connect the dots. People suffering with all sorts of chronic diseases, it's time. It is time for them to transform. Tune into Lyme Talk Radio and help keep our mission strong for the loyal listeners out there that have been listening to this incredible show on Lyme disease we are not going to let you down we're going to come through stronger and enrich the platform for Lyme disease awareness through Lyme Talk Radio the message will continue the conversations will become stronger and the healing epic 
Are you feeling stagnant or blocked in your love life, career, health, or finances? Experiencing difficulty focusing or setting and achieving goals? Tune in to Spiritual Diagnostics Radio with psychic visionary healers Carol Dorian and Suzanne Evans. Discover the cause and effect of unwanted patterns in life. Tune in every Tuesday at 12 p.m. Pacific on Transformation Talk Radio. For more information, visit spiritualdeed.com. Introducing the Lucid Planet, a digital gathering place featuring cutting-edge, high-vibrational content that will empower and inspire you to become the greatest version of yourself. Visit the Lucid Planet today to stimulate your mind, body, and soul as you connect with a global community of like-minded people. The Lucid Planet is edited by renowned psychologist and author, Dr. Kelly Neff, who is here to help you cope with anxiety, connect to your higher purpose, uncover your true passions, and live your dreams. Dr. Kelly's fresh, compassionate perspective emphasizes growth, transformation, healing, and thriving, even in the face of adversity. Say goodbye to bad news and low vibrational media for good and become part of the larger collective of people working together to navigate the global shift of consciousness and transform the world from within. Join the planet, the Lucid Planet. Visit thelucidplanet.com. Welcome home. On the cutting edge of the new mainstream, Christine Upchurch is passionate about bringing together science, psychology, and spirituality in a way that can be applied to our everyday lives for true transformation. The Christine Upchurch Show, stellar conversations to illuminate your journey, engages some of the most outstanding visionaries on the planet in lively dialogue to inspire you to become that bright light you're meant to be. Join Christine every Friday at 11 a.m. Pacific Time on KKNW, AM 1150, and Transformation Time. Talk Radio. Wow, everyone. Welcome back. Welcome back. Um, Nancy, before we jump ahead, um, what I would like to do is just have you take a minute and let people know, first of all, how they can get a copy of the book and then how they can find out more about you. Sure. Um, they can get a copy of my book on Amazon.com or you can go to BarnesandNoble.com and you can visit me on my website at TheEnergyProfit.com and you can set up an appointment with me. I do spiritual coaching. I do a little bit of tarot. I don't do as much of that as I do of public speaking if you need a good public speaker or if you just have a question for me, you can send me a message. Okay. So you see this is this is really what we're talking about here today. We're talking about how the world now and you and I were having a, a great conversation during the break saying right. that, you know, some of the some of the world's most uh, what we popular spiritual teachers that are out there right now are really looking at um, this idea of spirituality without religion, or, and it's kind of it's kind of like strange for people. It spirituality now is also being defined, albeit once upon a time it was defined as that which wasn't about Christianity. It's not being defined about like that anymore. And I wanted you to talk about how we've now become more inclusive, especially with you and your book saying the universe is speaking to you. Well, yeah, and I I can understand it. A lot of people said, oh, you know, I grew up in the church, but I wasn't really religious. And then I started to live life, and uh, over time and learning about the energy and learning to have faith, I realized that it does come from God. It's Mm -hmm. it's not a bad word to say that our Creator, God, Spirit, whatever you want to call it, um, I call Him God, put this energy out there for our benefit. He wanted the best for us. And that's what's interesting. People don't realize that. The Bible was written as a guideline, okay? This is what we have. And until I got, I'm like a lot of people, until I was in a really bad place in my life, I didn't pray. I didn't think about any of those things. But I was a single mom, two little kids. I I was a real estate broker. I had to survive. And I learned by pure desperation to create what I needed to, and it took a while, but then I started to realize when I had faith, faith in a higher power, which is God, um, I started to read the Bible, I started to understand some of these things, that I became very successful, and, you know, 
to talk about religion, I guess I'm not a real religious person. I don't go to church all the time, but I do pray, and I do put out good energy, and I believe that all of those things make a huge difference in our lives. And I think people have gotten away from it, and Mm -hmm. it's not a bad thing to say that God put the universal energy out here for us, and it's for us to use. Yeah. I mean, we're living in extraordinary times in that people are, as you say, wake up. They are waking up. And before the break, I was talking about this idea of 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 asking small. And, you know, in your book, I mean, that means that asking small um, and somebody said to me, Pat, you can't ask small and then pray big. And I I really said, well, right. Yeah, can you talk about that? Because that was like a little mind blower for me right there. Well, because people forget to ask. I I can remember my sister saying, um, oh, I don't want to ask for anything. I have everything I need. Well, if you don't ask, you don't get. (laughs) And I think God expects us to ask. And ask for exactly what you want. And be careful with your words. That's another thing that is really, really important. When you ask, be specific. Because the universe will respond to you in how, in the vibration of your words, in the vibration of your thoughts. That's how all of this works. So if you pray or you ask, be specific. And ask, yes, definitely, uh, go big. Ask for exactly what you want. And every time I've asked, I've I've either gotten exactly what I asked for or something better. Mm. Okay. Every time. Every time, exactly, and me too. Yeah. Um, I, I want to talk to you about the energy of asking because your book gets right to it, to it. You know, this is really your wheelhouse. This is you being an energy expert, as one can call it, and being right. out there and talking about energy. Let's talk about energy and let's talk about negative energy. One of my favorite negative energies I'd love to put on the table right away, and that okay. is the, the energy. And, and even the word negative is not right, but, you know, we're on radio. And, you know, okay. if we're not direct and talking to people, uh, you know, from that perspective and saying, yeah, there are negative things out there. And sometimes we actually bring them into being. But my, my all-time favorite, one that I've talked about, I've written about, is doubt. It is so subtle and yet so seductive, right? It shows up in so many ways. I would love for you to talk about, you know, doubt and what the antidote is for doubt. You know, it's it's tough. Faith is yeah. a really, yeah, faith is a hard thing to to yeah. achieve. Achieve it really is. I think yeah. it took me years. I had a really good mentor, and she gave me a little statue, and it uh, I put it in my windowsill, and it says "Faith Works." And I'd look at it, and I'd say, "Yeah, yeah, yeah." But you know, once you actually buy into this and start yeah. to have true faith within yourself, and really believe that there is a higher power and that you can be helped, once you actually can achieve faith, it works. It's amazing because it's the, it's the same thing. Um, the universe picks up on gratitude. The universe picks up on if you have true faith. You can't fool the universe. You can't fool God. It is what it is. That's where, like, karma comes into play. When people do the right thing, they are rewarded tenfold because the energy comes back. You have to have faith. If you doubt, then that doubting energy goes out to the universe, and that's what you get back. Does that make sense? Yeah, it does. So let's talk about that in the context of your book. And, you know, and I love, I love that you get right to, I mean, you have a whole cha- chapter here uh, and much more dedicated to faith works, but also just ask and be grateful. And that's right. why I wanted to bring that up about, wait a minute, it's almost impossible to ask, ask little and pray and pray big because right. it's just, in, when you ask little by the very nature of it, right, it right. brings Doesn't a work. little energy, right? Tell us right. about Doesn't the work. energy of this and how this relates to the universal presence. As far as having, uh, you mean asking for something, yeah. asking for what you want? Yeah, you have to be specific and ask. If, if you are looking for a relationship out there, um, one thing I say to people is write down exactly what you want. Ask. Because if you don't ask, you don't get. That's just yeah. how it is. And if you sit around and think that it's just going to happen, it's not. 
you have to be proactive. It's the energy of you projecting your thoughts and your intentions and your goodwill. And the universe picks up on that and gives you what you want or usually something better. It's quite interesting how it works. So, yes, you have to ask. And don't okay. be afraid to ask. And don't think you're asking for too much. Um, if, if it's not something, this is what I've learned. If I mm-hmm. ask for something and it's not for my benefit, I won't receive it. I'll receive what I'm supposed to. Does that make sense? It does make sense. And let's talk about what the baggage needs to, what we need to do with the baggage to get that out of the way. And what I mean by that is, you know, I I don't know about you, but I, I really know what it's like to really pray foxhole prayers. You know, I know what those are like. Mm -hmm. You know, Mm -hmm. they're in moments of desperation when you think everything around you is going to fail. I mean, I was homeless at 17, so I know what a foxhole prayer is. Um, But learning this new energy this energy of waking up, it is really powerful. I would love for you to talk about that and how waking up has affected your life. Well, it's affected it business and personally. Mm -hmm. Um, When I first started to work with the energy, I was in the real estate business, and I needed to draw business to myself. I needed to sell homes. If I didn't sell homes, I didn't make money, and my kids didn't eat, okay? So that's mm-hmm. the, that, it was out of necessity that I started to learn this stuff. It, you know, the faith and all that came afterwards, I was just trying to survive. And so what I learned by going to seminars and starting to pray and started to read different books and started to understand how this stuff works, I would put the intention out there. I'd say, I would say affirmations on my way to work in the car. I would say, I sell houses like crazy or money flows immediately and constantly to me and I accept the abundance. But the key to this whole thing is you can say whatever you want to say, but you have to feel it and have the faith that you'll receive it. Once I learned that whatever I projected out and I had the faith that I was going to receive it, then I started to receive it. Mm. And let's take a short break and we come back uh, more with Nancy about faith works. But what does it work with? You know, what is it when we have these lessons that show up? What is that about? Or is it about now faith? Now faith. This is from Nancy's book. Now faith is confidence in what we hope for and assurance about what we do not see. That's actually from the Bible. That's actually in Hebrews. And so when we come back, we're going to talk about hanging the faith up high, knowing that it is already done. What could Nancy tell us about that and some tools to help us all? Stay tuned, everybody. We'll be right back. Chris Stainis is a spiritual leader and healer and teaches a course on how you can transform your life through a meditation and healing system that will manifest your spirit's dreams. She manifested the Women of Wisdom Conference, the Women of Wisdom book, and this radio show. And she can show you how to change your life, too. Are you ready? Visit the website and contact her at VoicesOfWomenToday.com. That's VoicesOfWomenToday.com. Wow. Hey, everyone. Welcome. Uh, Welcome to the Dr. Pat Show. This is Talk Radio to Thrive By. I'm telling you, I got to pinch myself some days because when each of us gets called to do something that we so not thought was in our real house to do for a purpose that's so much greater than us, we get to show up and shine. If you would like to show up and shine on the Dr. Pat Show as a co-host or sponsor, send us an email to inspire at thedrpatshow.com. If you're one of the millions of Americans suffering from anxiety, you probably know how powerless and out of control this emotion can make you feel. This is why it is so important to remember that anxiety is created by your mind, which means that you can learn to use your mind to uncreate it. Hello, my name is Dr. Friedman Schaub. My award-winning book, The Fear and Anxiety Solution, provides you with a step-by-step breakthrough process to understand and resolve the root causes of your anxiety and build a solid foundation of confidence and inner peace. If you're ready to take your power back, visit thefearandanxietysolution.com. 
That's thefearandanxietysolution.com or call 866-903-6463. That's 866-903-MIND. Have you wanted to be intuitive or psychic but thought those gifts were only for certain people? Hi, my name is Deb Acker and in addition to being the host of Truth Talk Radio, I'm an intuitive life coach and energy healer. I clear energy blocks to all areas of life, including intuition. Did you know that we're all intuitive, but many times we receive certain messages in our childhood that block us from being able to tune into our intuition at all times? What if you could clear these blocks to access your gifts and always know the truth in any given moment? Don't think it's possible? I was there not long ago. I thought only others had these gifts and you were either born with it or you weren't. I now know we're all intuitive and you can clear the blocks that stop you from being able to access your intuition on all levels. On the other side, I now help others to become intuitive, even psychic. And if this resonates for you and you're ready to own your intuitive powers, I'd love to gift you with my pattern identification session. Simply contact me on the contact page of my website, deborahacker.com. That's D-E-B-O-R-A-H-A-C-K-E-R.com. And let me know you heard about this gift through Transformation Talk Radio. I look forward to connecting soon. Hey, everybody. Welcome back. It's so great to have all of you tune us in and turn us on. Listen, for more about us, go to thedrpatshow.com. And for those of you out there, anybody interested in hosting a show, please check us out because we are on the verge of launching transformationradio.fm, 11 independent channels, technology that will take your message into the world literally by pushing a couple of buttons. It's amazing. Um, so all of you out there know that we've taken your input. We're providing you more of what you want, and we're providing it to you in the ways that you want it. Um, that's what we're committed to doing here. Please check it out. Um, also, uh, Nancy, before we jump into this conversation about what the heck can we do, um, please tell folks how they can get a copy of your book as well as contact you directly. Yeah, absolutely. They can uh, get a copy of my book at Amazon.com or BarnesandNoble.com, and you can visit me on my website, TheEnergyProfit.com. Awesome. Okay. Uh, Before the break and during the break, we were talking about who doesn't want to wake up, really? And getting caught in, I've tried to wake up, I thought I'm waking up, the tools are not working, all of that. So I wanted you to really take a minute to share what we can do. How do we go from this place of yearning to this place of yesing? And you know, what I mean by that is waking up every day and say yes to your life. How do we, where do we begin? Can you help us with this? Right, no, of course. Um, Positive affirmations is one and just making sure that you're clearing yourself. We have energy fields and you know, people, don't talk about it. A lot of people talk about the chakras. We have these energy fields, and they can uh, get bogged down with negative energy. The negative energy comes from negative people. You could be in a negative space, whether it's at work or at home. If you've got somebody negative around you, their negative energy attaches to you, and if you don't clear it, you become bogged down too. One of the easiest things that I tell people to do is take a sea salt bath. I go home from work. Take, get in the bathtub, put in like a half a cup of sea salt, and soak for 30 minutes. Get rid of all that negative, dirty energy. Another thing you can do is massage. Massage is wonderful because it gets all the toxins and all the negativity out of your body. Another thing you can do is yoga. Uh, aromatherapy is wonderful. One thing that you can do now during holiday season, which is wonderful, especially when you've got the relatives coming over, and there's always different personalities and there's always some negativity swirling in the air, get a pan out, put some water in it, and put some cinnamon. Just let that cinnamon oil and seep through the house. What will happen is it's the properties within the cinnamon that will clear the negative energy from the air, okay? 
Very simple thing. Nobody will realize you're doing it, but you'll notice that everybody's a little happier, a little more uplifted. You really need to pay attention to the energy of the people around you and the space that you're in. Mm. Um, yeah. You know, when you're looking at, when we're talking about, you know, some of the things you write about in the book, um, let's talk about this idea of coincidence or synchronicity because that is so much a part of my life and I really attribute being awake enough in those moments to pay attention yes, to what's being said I would love right. for you to talk about that because how right. and how important that is right nothing is accidental everything is synchronized and it's mm. up to us just as you said, to pay attention. If you start to pay attention, and that's why I said wake up, if you really start to pay attention to what's going on around you, you will start to realize that nothing is accidental. You know, we're all here on a path, and people say, oh, well, I don't know what I'm supposed to do. If you start to pay attention, you will. Um, pay attention to the signs that the universe is giving you. Um, if you're doing something and it's in your feels like you're pushing against the wall, the energy's not flowing well, then you're not doing the right thing. If you're on your right path, the energy will flow really, really well. So pay attention. Pay attention to numbers. I always say, I do a whole chapter on numbers because I started to realize that I have, an, everybody has a number. Let me just say this. Yeah. And numbers have, numbers have energy. And let me give you an example. Um, sure. My my kids were both born on the same day, different months. Then my grandson was born on the same day. Then my license plate added up to all the, that same number. And I started to realize, why am I keep seeing the same number over and over and over? And I what I realized was the universe was showing me that when I was on the right path, I would see that number. And it was confirmation. Hey, you're on the right path. You're doing the right thing. So you need to pay attention to what's going on around you, pay attention to the numbers, pay attention to who's around you, pay attention to your um, energy fields. Do you feel bogged down? Do you just not have the energy to get up and, and get going? Um, clear yourself because that is who we are. We're in these bodies. We are energy, we are spirits, and we're only in these bodies for a certain amount of time. And it's our job to keep ourselves clear and healthy so that we can be productive. Yeah. Um, I want to ask you uh, about consequences, or shall I talk about them uh, as challenges? I started out by talking about that. I've had quite a few challenges in my life, and compared to some of the other people I know, they really pale. Um, and I want to talk about the idea of challenges. Are those challenge? I, I, I call them challenges. Some people say, oh, Pat, that's a negative word. But I don't know how to talk about it. You know, when you're on radio, you're on radio. And, you know, these things that show up, these what we per what we perceive as challenges or obstacles, are they there to teach us? Uh, yeah. And are they almost like a last ditch to get our attention? Because the softer, kinder way... Uh, we've just not been paying attention. I'd love to hear your, 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 no. your, I'd love to hear what you have to say on that. No, you're exactly correct because every, nothing is accidental. So if you're put in a situation and l let's say, for example, in a relationship, you just keep having the same thing happen every time in every relationship and it never works out. Why is that? Well, because the universe is telling you you've got something to learn about yourself and until you learn that lesson you can't move forward it is presented to you over and over it can be in business it can be in personal but the universe presents us with lessons so that we learn and move forward in life and that's why we're here to learn so every time you feel like you're stuck or you feel like I'm repeating this over and over and over, it's because you haven't learned the lesson yet. And once you do, you'll move forward. Yeah. I mean, and let's take a, a look for a minute on how do I turn my wake-up gene on 24-7? How do I get that going 24-7? What are some of the principles you've learned so that 
we don't think of our lives as I've prayed for it, now I got this thing, I should be grateful, don't ask for more. Because the idea of your book is wake up, the universe is speaking to you. Uh, the idea is not that wake up and the universe has one thing to say to you, right? And oh, I think no. we should right. make a distinction. Yeah. Well, yeah. I mean, we all have lessons to learn as we go. I think the universal energy was put here to make our lives easier. Mm -hmm. um, and we're not using it. Uh, you can, you need to ask, and we've talked about that. You need to keep the energy flowing, which means you need to try to keep, stay healthy. Uh, you need to speak positive uh, words and try to stay positive. I mean, let me let me tell you, it's hard to stay positive all the time. But mm. write down affirmations. Say them in the morning. Say them at night. Put up a vision board. When you get around negative people um, and, and you realize they're bringing you down, cut those people off. Get them out of your yeah. life. <laughs> you don't need the negativity. You know, there's a lot of things you can do. It, it's hard to be upbeat all the time but if you can do some of these principles get a massage once a month clear your house with some aromatherapy take a sea salt bath stay away from the negative people um like i said do affirmations there's so many different things you can do um, to keep yourself upbeat and moving forward because that's the goal i mean we're here to learn and we're here to be prosperous and god only wants the best for us he didn't set this universal energy up to punish us. He set it up for our benefit to use. And the more positive you put out there, the more positive you get back. It's really interesting how he set it up. I love this. Let's take a short break. When we come back, we're going to talk about the energy of love. What yeah. is that? And does love heal all? Stay tuned, everyone. We'll be right back. I believe, I believe, I believe, no matter what you do. I believe, I believe, I believe, I believe, it will all come back to you. So just now go and microphone together, y'all. How would you like to release your stress and let go of your anxiety, fear, depression, or even physical pain? How would you like to feel more relaxed, more confident, and experience more success in all areas of your life? Dave Dodge from Stress Buster Radio has a number of cutting-edge methods that will help you do just that. For more information on how Dave can help you release stress, visit StressBusterRadio.com. Skype and phone sessions available. Tune in to The Jen Royster Show, intuitive guidance to inspire your life, each Thursday at 8 a.m. Pacific and 11 a.m. Eastern on TransformationTalkRadio.com. This amazing show is an inspirational hour that will take you on an epic metaphysical journey to discover the spiritual approach to life's greatest challenges. Dr. Jen is an internationally known intuitive counselor, spiritual teacher, and energy healer. Call in for intuitive readings and visit JenRoyster.com for more information. Tune in to Mainstream Metaphysics Radio to harness your connection with the universe to effect change for optimal success and happiness. Name one of the country's top psychics. Eve now brings her insights and gifts to this weekly hit call-in show. Joined by visionaries, leaders, and gifted others, but mostly you. Jot it down. Thursdays, 10 a.m. Pacific, 1 p.m. Eastern on TransformationTalkRadio.com. Are you sick of feeling overworked with no motivation? Take a break from the daily grind. Life coach Nicole Eisler is here to provide a healing journey of optimism. Passionate and caring, Nicole is no ordinary soul. Her dedication to helping everyone has no limit. Witness the power of positivity. Tune in every first and third Tuesday at 4 p.m. Pacific for Positivity Party Radio with Nicole Eisler on Transformation Talk Radio. For more information, visit BigDreamAwakening.com. Are you tired of being bloated and nauseous? Hi, I'm Mary Jane Mack. Did you know eating unhealthy foods eventually leads to an unhealthy digestive system? Did you know eating the most healthy, nutritious food doesn't necessarily result in a healthy body? The stomach must be healthy in order to properly digest, metabolize, and utilize even the best of nutrition. Without proper digestion from the stomach through the intestinal tract, the nutritious value is not absorbed and the improperly digested food can be more toxic to your body than helpful. 
You can be doing all the right things and getting all the wrong results. In fact, other organs may also be interfering with your stomach's ability to digest. Contact us today for your appointment at 888-777-4232. That's 888-777-4232. Or visit us at maryjanemack.com. Hey, everybody. Welcome back. Nancy, one more time uh, before we because I know this is a this is last segment goes really, really quickly. Please, again, tell people how they can get a copy of your book. Wake up. The universe is speaking to you and also how they can find out more about you. Right. You can uh, get a copy of the book on uh, Amazon.com or at BarnesandNoble.com or you can visit my website, TheEnergyProfit.com. Awesome. Okay. So, you know, here we're talking about many things. And in your book, you have a a chapter dedicated to the energy of love. Let's just talk about what that is. Uh, You and I were chatting during the break. And what I said to you is, you know, one of the 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 most popular people that ever walked the planet right uh we were talking right. about uh, about you know jesus here for a minute uh the you know known to be the essence of love still have moments of a rebellious spirit so we get confused between love everything love everybody and do nothing and i'm hoping you can shed some light on that well the thing is the less I write in my book, the lesson is simple. If you want love, you must give the energy of love. And mm-hmm. the universe knows whether or not you're giving out an energy vibe of love or not. You know, I don't think we should be, you know, ooey gooey and crazy over this. <laughs> bottom line, you know, bottom line is if you walk around with a negative attitude, um, that's exactly what you're going to receive back. And, and the people mm-hmm. around you are going to pick that up or pick up that vibe, okay, per se. But if you actually have a good, loving feeling and you project that out into the world in whatever you do, whether you're in business, whether you're at home, whether you're out shopping, if you're just kind and you project that kind vibration, people pick up on that. And it's interesting. It's infectious. Once they see you smile and say hello and have a good uh, feeling, they in turn will will smile back at you. And it's infectious, the whole love situation. You know, when before I had a a good relationship, I would see a lot of couples holding hands and and they were so in love. And I think, I want that. I want what they have. They look so happy. But, and you know, and, and I think a lot of people see happy couples, and they get the jealous vibe out there. Don't do that. Be happy for those people. And when you are, that good love energy somehow finds its way to you. And I think that's what we're missing here. Um, You can't love everybody, but if you do the best you can and have good intentions, and that vibration is picked up on by others by uh, and by the universe, and it's returned to you tenfold. That's what I really believe. Mm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, and, you know, when we're talking about that, what is it that you've learned over time to help people flip the switch? This is what I like to do. I like to talk about what does it mean to flip the switch. And flipping the switch means to wake up. Right? They have to wake up. Right. I mean, nobody's going to do this for you. You've got an opportunity. The way I look at it is we all have an opportunity. We've been blessed to be born. We're here. We're alive. We've given an opportunity to either live a happy life and help others and do great things, or we can sit and sulk and watch TV and, you know, buy things that will really not make us happy in the end or make ourselves pretty on the outside, but it's really the inside that matters. I think if people can just realize it's the inside of us, that's important. We've gotten backwards in our lives. We look at people on the outside and we don't realize 
that maybe they're not pretty on the in, on the outside, but mm. maybe they're beautiful on the inside. And we've gotten back, everything's backwards. Everything's been flipped. And we really need to wake up and realize what's important. And it's people. And it's the inside of people, not the outside of people. And it's not things. Mm. Okay? It's not yeah. things. Well, um, I have if to I can, tell you. If I can get that yeah, across, sure. you know? Yeah, yeah. One of the most, I would say, over the time I've been doing this, one of the things that people really love to talk about, and you also address in your book, um, is angels. Yeah. Um, and you talk about them in your book, and uh, I, I, w- I, I would be remiss if we didn't take a moment to talk about the role that angels play for right. us right. To, to, right. to wake up. Yeah. Right. Well, and I believe that we all have angels around us. We all have mm-hmm. a guardian angel. I believe there are angels here on Earth to help us. There have been several times where I have had people do things and let me give you an example I can remember uh, being in a snowstorm and I was leaving the office and I was by myself and it gotten dark and I wasn't married I was single I didn't have anybody to call and my car got stuck and I didn't know what I was going to do and it was one of those where God please help me angels are you out there and here's where the asking comes in okay you have to ask and I said angels I can use your help right now and I swear to you this guy appeared out of nowhere I don't know where (laughs) this guy came from he had a full length black coat on I can describe him he had a short haircut he had black leather gloves he came he pushed my car out I got in he pushed it out I was on the road I turned around to thank him and he was gone yes and this has happened to me so many times. There are so many different instances, and I, I actually have interviewed people for my book, and you can re- read some really cool stories about angels, but I've had these things happen to me, and these things are not accidental. But I think what I really want to say is you have to ask. You have to communicate with the angels. They're here, but they can't help you unless you ask them to help you. And that's what I've learned more than anything about angels. Wow. Um, yeah. You know, th- I want to, first of all, let me thank you for today. I'm so glad you've joined us here and sharing this. This is a perfect time for us to have this conversation. Um, I know that you you know, you have a vision and yeah. I would love to talk a little bit here as we kind of wind this down. T- tell us about your vision. Uh, I would love to hear, you know, what you hope this book will accomplish for folks right. and the world. Right. Well, the bottom line is, if we can all raise the vibration, meaning put out good energy on the earth, what we can do is raise the vibration. If each one of us try to be positive and put out a positive vibration as a collective, we can all raise the vibration here on earth. And we can make a difference because if you notice in the world today, there's so much negativity and negativity is we got more negativity and more negativity. If we can change it up and put out positive, we can change the vibration here on earth and change it for the generations to come, not just for us, for the generations to come. That's my vision. I love it. Thank you so much for today. Thanks Um, for having me. Yeah, I, I mean, but again, one more time, I would love for you to just let our, let folks know how they can connect with you directly. Yeah, visit me on my website, theenergyprofit.com. Um, get my book. It's called Wake Up, the Universe is Speaking to You. I hope you guys will read it. I think it will help you, barnesandnoble.com or amazon.com. And thank you for having me today. Yeah. Awesome. And I want to thank all of you for tuning us in and turning us on. I mean, this is really an awesome time for us to be in that place of opportunity, that place where we can all wake up, that place where we can stand up and listen to what the universe has in store for us. Thank you all for tuning us in, turning us on. Please go to the drpatshow.com. If you've missed any part of this, this will play tonight. Or go to transformationtalkradio.com. We welcome your feedback. If you send me an email at info at the drpatshow.com, that comes directly to me. And uh, again, everything that is about to come from us came from all of you. We hear you. 
and we pay attention to what you want more of. Thank you all again. Thank you, Mr. Benny. We'll see you next time. The audio was via a Skype call.